As the free black community slowly began to grow in the years before the Declaration of Independence, the first institutions that they created, along with their enslaved sisters and brothers, were houses of worship. One of the earliest was in Savannah, Georgia. Today, it's known as the First African Baptist Church. Reverend, I feel like I'm in the presence of black church religious history. Tell me the story of this church. It's like a miracle. Well, the church actually had its beginnings in 1773, mm -hmm. when George Lyle, who was a slave, mm -hmm. was granted permission to preach up and down the Savannah River. Mm -hmm. In August of 1777, he was able to obtain his freedom. Hmm. He was able to also constitute the church that same year. You know what I love about this church? I always, whenever I go into a black church, I look to see what color God is, what color the angels, what color is Jesus. Your saints are your predecessors who founded and perpetuated the tradition. I think that's brilliant. Well, this sanctuary actually would not have been built if it had not been for Andrew Cox Marshall, who preached for 44 years about how he wanted to build a brick church, mm -hmm. not just the, the temporary wooden buildings that had been built. When we think of those who built the church, definitely of recent African descent, this building has so many symbols in it that are codes for various things mm -hmm. in the windows, in the ceiling, on the side of the pews. After long days of labor, the free and enslaved members of First African Baptist worked through the night to create a home in which to worship their God. The people who built these pews paid homage to Christ, but also left a surprising trace of another African religious past, Islam. <laughs> 